then, um, you know, I won't be able to see it. Just one also reminder is if you people can please put on your subtitles, your audio subtitles down below so you could see the words. I don't know how the computer does it, that when we talk, the words just spell themselves out. And so one teaching concept it's important is if you could see the word, you'll be able to pronounce it better if you could see the word. So that's very important to know how to recognize and how to spell the word. Um, okay, so let me go and do this. I'm gonna go and uh, go to my Gmail and get my slideshow out. My slideshow that my wonderful wife was able to help me with because um, in life, we don't do things alone, right? You have your parents to help you. You have your uh, siblings, your brother or sister to help you out with things. And so you got your grandparents. Okay. I think we are almost there with, let's see. Um, share screen, okay. So you guys see everything that I'm seeing? Okay, so everybody sees what I'm seeing right now. And so I'm gonna scroll to my, here we go, this is it. Uh -huh. Welcome English class. What's this? Saving to drive. PowerPoint. Everybody see, I accept, I accept. Ta da! All right, here we are. Okay, so English, English summer class, welcome. What is occupational therapy? Well, I've been an occupational therapist for probably longer than you are all been alive. Uh, I've been an occupational therapist for 20 years and um, I love what I do. But what is an occupational therapist? First thing is what is occupation? Does anybody know what occupation is? Anyone? Occupation is a job you do every day that is meaningful. So for example, a lot of people go and they do a job every day. They go out and their occupation is a police officer, a firefighter, a teacher. All those things are occupations. But also what's an occupation is things that we do every day that is meaningful. That could be something as simple as eating. Eating is an occupation because we do it every day and we find meaning in it because, you know, we get hungry and we want to, um, we want to uh, taste good food. Can anybody else name an occupation? You can unmute yourself. What else do we do every day that's an occupation, that's a job, besides eating? I'll give you another example is putting on your clothes, right? Putting on your clothes is also an occupation because we do it every day, we change clothes, and we find meaning in it. Could anybody else think of another occupation? that they do every day? Mm -hmm. Silence. Okay, that's all right, because there are many occupations. Aha, look at this, body parts. 
So one thing about, uh, oh, I need to let somebody in now. Somebody's ultra late. Somebody's ultra late with their, um, I heard. Somebody's ultra late. Da, da, da. Okay, here's the body part. Okay, so can we repeat these words? Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Okay, can you unmute yourself and say eyebrow? Eyebrow. 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 Mm -hmm. Eyebrow. Very good. And the second word is I. Can any people say I? I. 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 Mm -hmm. I. Very good. In, in Chinese, I means love, right? Or I me. <laughs> um, but in English, I means you need a yin jing. Right? Your eye. Uh, ear. Can anybody say ear? Ear. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is pretty funny um, how you hear with your ear. And I don't know if it's coincidence, but they have it rhyme. You use your ear to hear. So I find that pretty, pretty coincidental. Uh, nose. Can nose. people say nose? No. Nose. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The nose knows where to go. Meaning when you smell something, you can say the nose knows where to go. Okay. Next one is mouth. 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 Yeah, very good. Very good. Everybody said it correctly. Next body part is chin. 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 Very good. And the next one is neck. 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 Very good. Neck. Next one is chest. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow, everybody says it very good. Next one is stomach. 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 I love the echo sound. Everybody says it in order, and it's like so cool. I hear stomach, 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 and it's like an echo. It's pretty cool. Next one is arm. 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 <laughs> I love the one, the person who shouted out, arm. <laughs> Give me your arm. Okay. Next one is hand. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, can somebody use the word hand in a sentence? Anybody at all? For example, the boy liked to hold the girl's hand. Can anybody else think of a sentence they can make using the word hand? I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Okay, the next one is knee. Can people say knee? Knee. 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 Now, this is one of the interesting things about English is that you see how you spell knee? K-N-E-E. -E. The K is silent. So you don't say kumi, you just say ni. That's one of the 
um, difficulties in English, uh, there's a lot of uh, these type of words that it doesn't make sense because there's a K in front of it, but you just sort of memorize it. Okay. Next word, leg. 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 Now, can somebody, a uh, brave person, use the word leg in a sentence? That's okay. Anybody, I'm going to start it off. I'm going to say, when I go on stage, the director told me to break a leg. When I go on stage, before I go on stage, the director told me to break a leg. That's a um, English term. It's like a, uh, they call it a, um, it's a, it's a term that American people use to express something. It's an idiom, as they say, idiom. Can people say idiom? Idiom. Idiom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Idiom. It's spelled I-D-I-O-M. Idiom. It's an expression that you cannot get the meaning of by just looking at the words. Right? Break a leg doesn't mean fall down or break a leg. It means go and do the best you can and be yourself. Okay, the next and the final word here is foot. Can you say foot? Foot. 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 Mm -hmm. foot. foot. Very good, very good. Ah, we have more party parts. Now it's going to be more class participation. We're going to go in a clockwise order. We're going to pretend that this is a clock. And the boy you see is, uh, you know, at 12 o'clock. So at 1 o'clock, what is that thing? What body part is that? At 1 o'clock. It's like a black circle with a white circle over it and a brown thing. What, what is that? Eye. I. 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 Mm-hmm. It's an eye. And what's above the eye? What do you call that? Right? In, in Chinese, it's called mianmao. Mianmao. What's the English for mianmao? Hmm. Eyebrow. That's right, eyebrow. Good, good. You remembered from the first time from the from the girl eyebrow. Okay, now, what's that? What's the next one? Who knows what the next one is? Next one. Mm -hmm. In Chinese, it's called bi zi. Nose. Nose. No. Mm -hmm. The nose. Nose. Where to go? The nose knows. It's interesting because in English, sometimes two words that sound exactly the same have two different meanings. So nose, N-O-S-E, is your bizi, right? It's your nose that you smell with, but also to know, K-N-O-W, is to Understand something. Just ni zidao, right? You know ni ni zidao. So the nose knows what to do. So once again that K is in there and the K is silent for nose. Okay, what's the next one? The next one that's more inside. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Does anybody, can anybody say what the next party part is? I'll give you a clue. It rhymes with harm. Anyone, anyone? Arm. Arm. Mm -hmm. It's an arm. And what do you call that body part that it bends at the bend? What's that part of the arm that bends? Has anybody ever heard of an elbow? Elbow. E L B O W. Elbow. Okay. And what's the next body part? What's that? The one with the black shorts. What's underneath the black shorts? Anyone, anyone? Same thing with, the director told me to break a... Leg. Leg. Uh, let me hear the uh, G sound. Leg. 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 Mm -hmm. Leg, that's right, huh? Leg. All right, and the next body part at five o'clock what is that part? Actually, what is that part? Let's let's focus. Oh, there we go. Let get a little closer to it. What is that part? Foot. Mm -hmm. Foot. That's right. A foot. And how many toes do we have on our foot? Five. Five. Can anybody use the word foot in a sentence? Foot. Actually, foot could be the could be uh, the punchline of a joke. The joke is, what's the first thing you put in a garden? What's the first thing you put in a garden? And people might say, oh, tomatoes and vegetables and carrots. No, the first thing you put in your garden is your foot, because you got to step into it. Okay, the next one at seven o'clock. What is that? I'll zoom up on it. What is that? Knee. 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 Now, can somebody spell the word knee? I have a knee. Can anybody spell it with letters? K-N-E-E. -E. It's the one with the silent K. It comes up. Okay, next one. What's that body part? It has five fingers in it. What is it? Hand. 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 Mm -hmm. Hand. That's right. Okay, and then what's next to hand? What is that? What do you call that whole thing? What do you call it when you see that whole thing? It's interesting. You could say anything that it can be, that it could be. It could be a lot of things. But what do you think it's showing? Hmm. Mouth. Mouth, yeah, exactly, because it's showing the teeth and the tongue, but there's no eyes, so it's not a head or a face. It should be mouth, because they're emphasizing mouth. That's good. How about the next one? Ear. Ear. We need our ear to hear. We hear with our ear. And then the last one, what is that one? The whole thing. Head. Mm -hmm. It's your head. 
It's a head. Okay, remember there was a there was a Chinese song. It goes da to da to sha yi bu to ren ja yo yi shan wo yo da to. Right? Has anybody ever heard of that song? It translates into big head, big head. When it rains, I'm not worried because I have a big head. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme in English, but um, you know, it sounds better in Chinese. Okay, so now, ah, okay. Now everybody get out a pen and a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a some writing utensil. Could be a pen, a pencil, a crayon, magic marker. And we're going to play a little bit of trivia game. Okay. So there are 10 body parts that have only three letters in them. Can you name them? And this is for anybody. There are 10 body parts with only three letters in them. What are they? Can anybody guess? You can just chime in. Toe. Recover Toe. Did I hear you say toe? Ear. Ear. Eyes. Okay. Eyes. Toe. Ear. Eyes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyone else? Now with... I'm going to give you a little clue, okay? The next one is going to be part of your mouth, part of your mouth, that's the lower part that moves when you eat. What do you call that lower part of your mouth that moves when you eat? Let me see. Let me, uh, See if we could get it out here. Um, we are back here. There we go. I am back. Okay, so. All right, what's this part over here? What do you call this part of the mouth? It's only three letters in it. Who can say what this part is? This part over here. I'll give you a clue. There's a famous shark that's named after this. And Tara, no, no guessing, no, because I know you know the answer. But what do you call this part? It only has three letters in it. Does anybody know? So it begins yeah. with jaw. Can you say that again? Jaw. Jaw. And can you use the word jaw in a sentence? Think of a sentence using the word jaw. Like, I'll think of one. I'll think of one. I'll say, when I yawn, ah, my jaw opens widely. Mm -hmm. It's a sentence. Pretty much the, um, the sillier you make the sentence, uh, the more you could remember it or that the more other people could remember it as well because you they need to make it silly and sort of funny in order to uh, You know make it so you could remember aha. I saw somebody reply hip 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 hooray is the next one Hip I'm gonna write it hip hip hooray Hip is another word is another body part with only three letters in it Okay. Mm -hmm. Hip. Hip. 
Hip, hip, hooray. Also, hips don't lie. Okay, what other body parts can we think of? I see leg, I see arm, I see eye, lip. Oh, lip. Lip's a good one. Lip. Your upper lip and your bottom lip. Mm hmm And somebody wrote in Chinese, er duo, I think. Kent Chen wrote er duo, which is ear. Uh, which, yep, nobody said ear. That's very good. Okay, so for, we have arm. So let's count how many we have. We need to get 10. So arm, ear, eye, lip, hip, that's five. What else is there? Leg, that's six. Jaw, that's seven. We need three more body parts with three letters in them. What could they be? Oh, we have toe, right? Somebody, uh, somebody said toe before. So only two more body parts left. I'm going to give you a clue and say that this body part, we love to um, eat spear, what? We go to Outback Steakhouse and we like to eat spear, anyone? And normally we have about 12 of these, 12, maybe even 14, but 12. And my next clue is, with this part, is the skinnier you are, the more you could see it on your body. It's part of your, it's part of your trunk. It's part of uh, this part. What do you call that? It's over here somewhere. Your spare, and we have 12 of them. A lot. Ah, Jenny. How about you say it, Jenny? Say it out loud. Rib. Jenny Shy. Oh, okay. Rib. Rib, yes. I like to go to Outback Steakhouse. I don't know if there's Outback Steakhouse <laughs> in Taipei, but in America, there's a few. Uh, it's a restaurant uh, from Australia. Um, I like to go to Outback Steakhouse and eat ribs. I like to eat ribs, spare ribs. Okay, that is nine three-letter body parts. What is the tenth body part? What is the tenth one? Does anybody know? Can anybody guess? It's probably the hardest one to guess because it's the last one. Anyone? I'm going to go and see if I could share my screen again. And I'm going to. Three, two, one, share screen. Okay, I'm going to go to my slideshow over here. And oh, good, guess what? I got the. Da -da. I got the answers. We got arm, ear, eye. Oh, this is the one that nobody got. Who could say that one? Anyone at all? Gum. 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 Now, who, who um, has the, who is not shy and could show their gum? Where is the gum located? Where is the gum located? Can anybody show me their gum? Where's their gum? I'm showing my gums right now. 
who can show me their gums? All right? The gum is what connects your teeth to your body. Oh, that's how you say gum. Okay, very good. All right, so we got those 10 body parts. All right. Let's see, what else we got? Okay. You got the body parts. Okay, so I'm going to hand.